Now, um, let's talk about what happens when a strong acid or strong base is added to a buffer. Remember, a buffer is a weak acid and a weak base. So in this particular case, we're going to add a strong base, and we're going to do a, a uh, ice table in terms of moles before we do anything else. And the reason we're going to do that is when you have uh, acetic acid, and sodium hydroxide, we can treat it as sodium hydroxide or just hydroxide, either way it works. Uh, I'm gonna do it as sodium hydroxide. Well, let's do it as uh, actually just hydroxide. And I'm gonna put the arrow, just a single arrow, because this reaction will go to completion. This reaction does have a Kc value, or uh, that, yeah, it's a Kc that's very large. And our products are going to be water and acetate ion. Uh, I keep doing that. All right, that's just gonna be a minus. All right, and this is a molewise table. And um, it's going to go to completion, but let's see how many moles we start with. So we've got uh, our same buffer that we had before. So we've got 0 0.0250, 0 0.0250 moles of both our weak acid and our conjugate weak base. And um, right. Um, and now we calculate for 10 milliliters, which is 0 0.010 liters times 0.1 molarity, we get 0 0.001 moles of uh, hydroxide, so of sodium hydroxide or uh, hydroxide. Now, this is a molewise table for a reaction that goes to completion. Its Kc value is very large. Um, and in fact, if we look at this, this is actually just the Kb value of acetate reaction backwards. So this is actually 1 over Kb for acetate. And I'll see if I can write it. There you go. And since Kb of acetate is about 10 to the minus 10, this is about 10 to the plus 10. And I'm happy to answer any questions about that if you'd like. So this reaction goes to completion. That's why we have a moles ice table. Uh, if a reaction goes to completion, you look at your reactants and you take your smaller number and you subtract it. And that becomes your X. So uh, I'm going to subtract the same thing. And, and all the coefficients are one here. So um, we just, there's, there's only X minus X's and plus X's where X is minus uh, or 0 0.001, we see that our hydroxide is reacted away. Some of our, oh, yeah, 2, 4, 0. Some of our acetic acid is reacted away, and some of our acetate is added. And look at that. We have weak acid and conjugate weak base. Step two, still got a buffer? Yes. Calculate the pH of the buffer using the henderson hasselbalch equation. So that's going to be pH equals pKa plus log of our uh, conjugate weak base. And here's something new we can do. So uh, you can use the henderson hasselbalch equation in terms of molarity, which we've done. You can also use it in terms of moles. And um, that's because the volume is the same. So if you look at the vol, if you look at converting both this over your total volume, this over your total volume, and then you're going to put them one over the top of each other, basically the total volume cancels out. That's why you can do moles here. So we're going to actually do the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation with moles right now. Um, 
And so let's see, weak acid goes on the top, or sorry, weak base goes on the top. Weak acid, conjugate weak acid goes on the bottom. And let's see, so 4.74, right? This is the same buffer we had before. Acetic acid has a pKa of 4.74. I'll do my log part, it's gonna be 0.26. Oh, sorry. 0.026 divided by 0.024, I get 1.08, which I then log, which is 0 0.03476 plus 4.74, I get 4.77, rounded. And that is the pH of this buffer. And so in review, a couple things. First off, we added strong at base. The pH must go up. Right, We were at pH of 4.74 before this from the last problem. Now we're at 4.77. It does go up. It doesn't go up very much because we still have a buffer. And this buffer has turned, let's see if I got one more. Yeah, it has turned uh, a strong base, moles of strong base that we've got here into weak base. No more strong base left, only weak base, and of course some weak acid. It's a buffer. The pH does not change very much. That's how buffers work. That's how buffers buffer is they change the, the, the strong something into a weak something, still giving us a buffer. Let's try this. Hmm. We don't appear to be able to go on to the next page. So we'll stop there.